What's up, everybody? Happy Aloha Wednesday. Welcome to the HFG Show. We are Hawaii Fishing Gear, highfishgear.com. And it turns out you guys really, really like the Hallelu Paddle Tails. You guys liked it so much that we sold out last night. Um, and I was messaging with Jerry, and I was like, hey, bro, how quickly can you give me another batch? Shout out to the Campania crew for getting us a great follow-up order. Back in stock after getting sold out overnight. We, we doubled our order, okay? We ordered more than we did last night. They are back in stock. Hallelu 4-inch paddle tails. If you guys missed the boat last night, oh, it's back in, back in, what do you call it? Back in harbor. You can go ahead and grab them. Uh, the more I look at this, I got to give Jerry and the crew credit. If there was an award for Hawaii soft bait of the year, this is a contender right here. It is an epic soft bait. With the little paddle tail and the little fin sticking up on the back of the, that right there, just sold. Um, and while you're there, make sure you grab what little bit we have left of the BKK Titan Divers. Check it out. You'll see it. If you go to our website on the new products, 4-inch paddle tails, when you click on the product page, it should pop right up and say, suggested products. Other customers bought this. Go check them out. Highfishgear.com. Um, I have to also let you know that we got restocked on the Awamas. There was a brother that came in yesterday about the last one. He's like, if you had more, I would have bought. They're back in stock. Just for you, brother. Just for you. You know who you're talking about. <laughs> all right. Quick conversation with all you young guys that Olua, Olua bait casts. Um, you know, I, I buy and I used to buy and sell a lot of reels. I sell a lot of used reels. Um. And one thing I noticed on your sea lines, your sea gates, your pen one one three HLWs, is on the back side of it, I will see little notches on the graphite frame. Little notches where the line digged in. You guys know what I'm talking about right now. Where somebody tried to bust line, you got hung up on a reef, you supposed to wrap them around your pole, and then you guys wrap them around your reel. Do not do that. Do not do that. It kills the resale value of your Seagate Sea Line. You're going to have those little notches in your reel from trying to wrap it around your reel. Do not do that. One of the things I'm going to tell you about right now, this is available on highfishgear.com right now. This is what is generally known as a knot puller. It's nothing new. It's been around for a long time. It's actually two different sides. You tie when you tie in your FG knots. I just used it to tie one beautiful, beautiful Albright knot. You wrap the line around one side, you wrap the line on the other side. You pull that knot nice and tight. It's a knot puller. People have been asking me, one person specifically, Bill, when you gonna bring in knot pullers? When you gonna bring in knot pullers? I said I'm not gonna bring in knot pullers because guys that need them, they already get them, and. It's just for pulling knots. You can just, I use on glove and I pull, you know, I, you can use other things. But there's one thing that he pointed out to me is when you get stuck, especially like from shore, you get stuck from shore. Everybody wrap around their rod, walk backwards and pull. With this guy right here in your pocket or your tackle box, wrap your line around as many times as you like. It's not going to come off. It has this rubber little coating. Walk it back until that line pops. Save your rod. Use this line puller. We're also calling it a stuck line breaker. Um, several times on a kayak when bottom fishing, I'll get the lead hung up. I get 20-pound tests when I'm going for Veke Ula and stuff like that. I get 20-pound test uh, uh, fluorocarbon line on my damashi. When that bug is stuck, the lead is really stuck. You're fighting a line that's stuck on the ground. You get one rod bent over. That's how you snap rods. If I had one of these on my kayak the whole time, I could just wrap around and pull. You have no give. It's a great breaking line thing. $18.99 now on highfishgear.com. It's a nesting puller. You get that one. This unscrews. You get two sides now. You can pull your knots on the go. Very convenient size. It'll fit in your tackle bag. $18.99 on highfish.com. I was trying to remember what it was called. Nut puller. No, it's a knot puller. A knot puller. Um, you can use it for tying your knots, but I also recommend using it for busting your line. Okay, went out trolling for two this weekend. Have my hands cut from pulling knots and lures braided line to filament. 
There it is. $18.99. Go grab it on highfishq.com. Uh, if you guys got questions, I'm going to give you guys a few minutes for your answers, to give you guys some answers. Thank you for joining us. Uh, and thank you guys for all for joining it. If, if anybody's out in Guam, uh, I know you guys got hammered by a typhoon. Um, I hope you guys are. Do I hope you guys are safe. If you're from Guam, drop a half a day in the comments. Let us know you're okay. All right. Shout out to all of our Guam customers. I use my bare hands, then go to the hospital. <laughs> yes, you salty Levaya. I know you're gonna be ordering one. Not uh, Levaya flies. He's not gonna be ordering one because he get the high end ones, the ones he spent fifty, sixty bucks. He's like, oh, I wish you would have had that sooner. <laughs> All right. If you guys got questions, go ahead and shoot them in the comments. I'll be here for a couple more minutes. Let's see. Not a whole lot. Um, well, what are we going to talk about then while we wait for some questions? Uh, Oama, we got restocked on a lot more. It was kind of funny. It, like telling Jerry earlier, it's like when you bring in an order, we're sold out of something. It's like every week I got to have a delivery. This time he brought two in one in one week. Hey, the governor of Guam. All right, brother. Glad to hear you're all right. I know you guys got hammered, and it's 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 a it's a bad situation being caught in a hurricane. Super typhoon hammering you guys. Wow, super typhoon. That's like one category four hurricane. It's pretty rough. Um, New Orleans got hit by that uh, category five, so it's pretty it's pretty damaging. It can be really messed up. Uh, somebody told me that um, they might be out of power for up to a month in Guam because of the hurricane. Uh, somebody, uh, Kevin, Kevin was stranded um, because he was heading back to Guam and the, all the flights are canceled. So, Kevin, I hope you enjoy your little extended stay out here in Oahu and I hope you make it home safe. Okay, uh, Kamana Cody says, thank you for the leading charges. My wife came to pick it up today. Right on, brother. You were the guy I was talking about, the one that kept asking for the leading. I hope you got him. Uh, Coach Stone, uh, they were getting hit by a, a super typhoon. Uh, basically, once it's past the other side, they call it a typhoon. It was a hurricane. A hurricane was coming to Guam. And the reason why I talk about Guam is because we have a lot of Guam customers uh, that buy from our website. Because we get the we get the shortcut. They get their products so quick when they order from highfishgear.com. That's the reason why a lot of Guam Guam guys are uh, using High Fish Gear as their um, tackle shop. Okay. All right. How about making some tank tops? <laughs> Perry. All the uncles, all the uncles. I'm gonna make one tank top just for you guys, and I'm gonna call them the uncle, the uncle tank top. You guys, I, you know what, Perry? They're coming, bro. They're coming. By summertime, I'm gonna have one tank top for you guys. Okay, I like buy that real behind you on a desk. Okay, cool. Which one are you talking about? You talking about that U.S. anniversary? Uh, we just sold one on auction for 350 bucks uh, a couple weeks ago. All right, Southern Hemisphere typhoon north. Hurricane. Guam is in the southern hemisphere? Alright. Penn Senator 2, 114 behind the man. No, those are all 113s. Wait. Yeah, that's a 113. Those are HLWs. Wide. Okay. Perry, gotta make one Uncle Tank Top. Alright, make sure the tank top has chest pocket. You cannot make one tank top in chest pocket. No, can. Can you? Anybody give a tank top with a chest pocket? Try, try DM me a picture. Black with pink. Yeah, TNC style from the 80s. Yes, sir. Not a whole lot of questions today. Perry's excited about his tank top. <laughs> Not a whole... Can you make a... You give a tank top with a pocket. Kale boy, try send me a DM on Instagram. I like to see the picture of a tank top with a pocket. I didn't even know they can make them. What about hooded tank tops? <laughs> Where are you going to connect the hood? Think about it, Patrick. Where are you going to connect the hood on a tank top? <laughs> it's going to be basically a sleeveless hoodie. <laughs> one hood hanging down in the back right behind a tank top. Swap me, get tank top with pocket. I'll show you. <laughs> there you go. Send me a DM. I like to see the pocket, the pocket tank top. <laughs> All right, guys. Not a whole lot of questions today. Uh, save up your questions for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday. Jesse will be here. We'll make sure that Jesse get um, Pico shortcut. <laughs> like that guy from uh, North Shore. 
Hey, have you guys, all you young guys, if you haven't seen it already, make it a point to go watch the movie North Shore. All the uncles going to chime in right now. Um, but the movie North Shore, it's, it's, it's a great movie, and it's a great representation of 80s, uh, 80s Hawaii, what, through the eyes of mainland people. It's pretty fun, though. Sleeveless hoodies are popular in Southern California. I can imagine. Fly in Hawaiian. I believe I send me a DM. I like to see the picture. Nah, not beyond paradise. North Shore, because you gotta go more cheesy. Mark Thompson. All right, muscle tee with hoodie and pocket. Might as well just wear one long one jacket already, Perry. Okay, Heat closing out Celtics tomorrow. I don't think so. I think the Celtics got one more game in them. Not like the freaking Lakers. Brada is is in North Shore. You read about that. Thank you for reminding me that Infinity Prime. By the way, I go tell a quick little story. I met Brada is two times in my life when he was still alive. One time he was signing um, he was signing autographs at Tower Records in in uh, Purridge, uh, and I wasn't really into Hawaiian music at the time, but I I, I went over and I I just kind of stood by and listened to him talk to people as he was signing autographs. The second time he was at a, a musical at. Um, West Side Story, I went for um, a field trip in high school, and he was sitting in the back row. Um, and then the third time, I never really meet him, but his manager used to come to the subway I worked at, and I used to make sandwiches for Brada Is. It was uh, like double meat uh, seafood sandwiches. And the next time I seen him was, uh, we saw his funeral procession uh, when he was going to um, Makaha uh, for the paddle out. A lot of you guys probably went to that. But that was just thinking about Brother Is this week because of Yem Tongi. All right. Half half tank top t-shirt for the hot cold days. <laughs> hot cold. Celtics in seven. Wow. Yes, sir. All right. Let's see. We just going to talk story then. When do you expect your rain jackets to be back in stock? Eric, um, if you sign up for notifications, I'm hoping... I'm hoping that we should have some back in stock probably next month. I think it's going to be next month. Eric, if you've already signed up for... Uh, Eric, I think if I recall, you wear an extra large. I will let you know. I'll reach out to you personally. All right. That's pretty much it. Brothers is is my wife's uncle. My wife's last name is Kamaka Viva Ole. Right on. All right. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. We're just talking story for a little while. Uh, you guys save up your questions for tomorrow. We'll be back, hopefully, with some new products to talk about. Just to recap before I say aloha, uh, Paddle Tails. Four-inch Paddle Tails. We sold out yesterday afternoon. They're back in stock. Once again, shout-out to Campania Lures crew for getting me a quick, quick re reboot on that one. They also dropped off more of the Oama four-inch uh, four lures. They're back in stock. You guys have a good one. We'll catch you back tomorrow. Thanks for joining the HFG Show. Aloha.